And now it's my pleasure to introduce you to the new Old Dominion basketball coach, Jeff Jones. He may not be one of those hot young coaches like Brad you, Stevens Debbie. or Shaka Smart or the new million dollar a year man. Andy Enfield at USC hired away from Florida Gulf Coast this week. But 52-year-old Jeff Jones is officially the 13th coach in Old Dominion history, and it is now his job to turn the once proud program around. I'm Bruce Rader. Welcome to the Sports Wrap Live on this Thursday night. He was a player and later the head coach of the University of Virginia. And for the past 13 years, he coached American University in Washington, D.C. Now Old Dominion officials feel that Jeff Jones is the man to leave the ODU basketball program as it leaves the CAA for Conference USA. He coached AU to the NCAA tournament twice and won over 200 games. And let's face it, AU is not Louisville or Duke. Winning like that is not easy at a private school with strict academic standards and only 7,000 students. Now, he's not that old. I mean, I covered him when he played point guard with that UVA team that had Ralph Sampson, which was coached by Terry Holland and Craig Littlepage. As a coach, he took UVA to the Elite Eight and then he led American to the NCAA tournament twice. That's something that Gary Williams, Tom Young, Jimmy Lyman, and Tom Davis were unable to do, all very good coaches. He was very loyal, turning down jobs to stay at AU for 13 years. What I uh, looked for uh, at Virginia, at, at American, and, and now at Old Dominion, um, is, is having, uh, having a place uh, helping to build uh, a program, uh, but building a family, uh, a basketball family, if you will. And uh, you, you don't do that by, you know, keeping an eye on whatever the next job is. So, you know, I'm, I'm coming to Old Dominion 100% committed to, uh, you know, trying to, uh, to, to get back on track uh, and uh, having a lot of success both on and off the, the, the floor uh, in the coming years. But to build a championship program like a Butler, Gonzaga, or Wichita State, you have to be able to coach, and Jones is considered a very good coach, but you also have to recruit championship players. I, I think a lot of it is, is simply hard work uh, in making uh, recruiting in the state of Virginia and, and specifically in, in, in this area uh, a priority. Uh, you know, we, we want the, the folks in this state uh, to, to understand we're, we're going to be there uh, when the sun's shining, we're going to be there when, when, when it's raining. Uh, outside and uh, that, that uh, you know we are committed to you know having a, a strong presence in, in the Commonwealth. In his introduction, Athletic Director Wood Seelig said that he believed that Jeff Jones would bring Old Dominion the kind of basketball success that schools like Butler, Wichita State and even Gonzaga has had recently. I told Coach Jones those were pretty high expectations for a team that only won five games last season. You know what, those were, those were his words. Uh, what we're going to do is we're taking it day by day and we're going to try to be better every single day and, and, and ultimately I think if, if we are doing those right things, uh, putting one step in front of the other, uh, we'll have a lot of success. I don't necessarily want to uh, start making proclamations about all these schools that have been to the Final Four. We just want to be the absolute best that, that Old Dominion can be. He is best known for his time in Charlottesville, where as head coach of the Cavaliers, he led Virginia to the 1992 NIT Championship and guided the Hoos to five NCAA tournament appearances, including a trip to the Elite Eight in 1995. In 12 seasons at American, Jones went to the big dance twice in the academically tough Patriot League. Now, football, of course, and the arrival of athletic director Dr. Seelig has drastically changed the course of Old Dominion athletics over the past few years. Gone are longtime and successful coaches Beth Anders, Wendy Larry, and of course now Blaine Taylor. The addition of football cost ODU millions. The recent and unexpected decision to move up to Conference USA cost several million more up front and many more millions to come, and it means more money for scholarships and coaching salaries, especially the salary of the school's most popular coach and personality, Bobby Wilder. So I didn't think it was out of place to ask Dr. Seeley today if the new football program was taking money away that previously would have gone to men's basketball. Actually, uh, football is not a financial negative. Football is actually a plus for us because I think it increases the awareness in our overall program 
We're generating considerable revenue from ticket sales in football. We're part of Conference USA where our revenue distribution is going to be approaching several million dollars versus what was once about 300,000 in the CAA. So football is going to be responsible for a lot of additional resources that we can not only direct toward football but to other programs at ODU. Finally, there are many Old Dominion basketball fans who seem to be disappointed by Coach Jones's hiring. They were hoping for a more exciting, perhaps younger, maybe you could say they were looking for a sexier hire. I asked the man who did the hiring, Dr. Seelig, about that. I can understand that. My number one goal is to put ODU basketball in position to win championships because I think championships are sexy. So if ODU is going to win Conference USA championships, if ODU is going to go to the NCAA and compete and make noise in the NCAA tournament, the position that I felt was best suited to put us in position to accomplish that was Jeff Jones. And looking at the ca uh, candidates, I tend to agree. For a much more in-depth look at Coach Jones's hiring and my take on the process, and was it a good hire at all, log on to Wavy.com or go to our Wavy Facebook page and check out my sports blog on the subject.